Workman's relief for whatever the job throws at you, like THC products derived from legal hemp. These are legit delicious. Free shipping with products over $75. Order yours at workmansrelief.com for whatever the job throws at you. This is the JJO Morning Show Podcast with Johnny and D. Listen, rate, subscribe. Okay, so the cyber truck issues. Oh, boy. Uh, PC2. Now, a Tesla super fan, which I find to be, those, those people are funny anyway, walked on a Cybertruck's windshield to show how unbreakable it is. It broke. Yes. I assume. <laughs> so here we go. Here, driving the Cybertruck, the best truck ever. No. You all hate on this truck. What do you got to do? You obviously have to get up and walk over it because this thing was built to last. So I'm literally walking on this thing right now. We're going 240 pounds. Nope. It broke. That was the crack you heard. Here, oh. driving the Cyber 240 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. And then and then he didn't react angrily. No. I mean, I would have uh, that's probably a $5,000 replacement. He's pretty 40 pounds. He's Damn. pretty calm about the Oh, he's trying to be cool. He's trying going to going yeah. 240 pounds. So at least yeah. so now we know the weight limit of a a Cybertruck windshield crack yeah. situation. 240 pounds. Dude, uh yeah, how much is it to replace a cyber truck windshield. Oh, uh, it's more than that. It's isn't a lo- it? it's a lot because it's a really weird, odd, yeah, re- shape and install. I don't think uh, Safe Light Repair, Safe Life Replace has a cyber truck windshield. Does Safe Light? Maybe they do. I need a Safe Light guy to call me. And by the way, I love your jingles. We were talking yesterday about how good some jingles are. Yeah, they do. Dude, Safe Light is right up there lodged in my brain oh yeah dude totally <clears throat> jingles man uh the other one like whenever i go past mayville oh yeah metalcraft maybe you gotta play air guitar when you go past uh, <laughs> metalcraft metalcraft mayville 100 uh, just play a one-handed uh, air guitar <laughs> then you'll blame me yeah no i mean a, no that's gotta be ridiculous i know the windshield wiper on that thing is uh very very expensive and highly engineered. Okay, so um, Safe Flight does repair them. Oh, really? This says Tesla is charging nineteen hundred for, yeah. Ouch. Cybertruck's windshield. That's pinch. So did he? He just ignored the fact that he he's too cool. Oh yeah. Just ignored the whole. Which, <laughs> which, the math adds up for these types so, of people. He's going right? to pretend like nothing happened, even though I'm, you know, I'm. Uh, Super. He's driving around <laughs> in his cyber truck. He's got a Tesla flag on the back. Oh, yeah. An American flag on the back. Musk for president, ladies and He's gentlemen. He's got camouflage paint on it. Yeah. Uh, he's exactly what you would think. Yeah, the crack heard round the world. Yeah. $2,000 worth of crack. Mm-hmm. We should give uh, Elon some more tax subsidies for building cars that nobody uh, really buys. I think that's a great idea also. What? I'm sorry. Is this on? Uh, well, we officially know <laughs> the weight limit is 240. <laughs> so that's good. What a what a weirdo. Why would you do that? I, I don't know. People are weird. You look ridiculous. I'm, like, well, I'm going to buy this. Uh, really hot sports car. I'm going to buy this new Corvette and walk on the windshield. <laughs> who just, who just does that? Um. Yeah. And wh- who cares? Then why post it? Yeah. Nobody cares. And also, because we're t- because people are talking about it. Why? But but you look like a douchebag. And why even? He trolling. He trolling. They just trolling. He might be trolling. You might be right. I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything anymore. So Safe Light charges. Nineteen hundred. I don't know if Safeway oh, okay. does. That's just what it says that yeah. the cost of repair does. And I do know too, my homies up there at West Town Monona Tire. Oh yeah. I know they service them uh, and all kinds of Teslas. I see up in there too. Oh, really? Yeah. I roll into my little Ford Escape. I'm like, do you still love me? <laughs> and they do. 
They used to work on combustion engines. Uh, <laughs> what the, we, hello? Hello? Is anybody home? <laughs> yeah. No, it's fine. Mm, do whatever makes you happy. I don't care. Uh, he should call Elon and say, hey, dude, I, I heard some rumors on the <laughs> internet and I walked on a windshield. <laughs> you liar. And uh, ask him to split the cost. No, uh, no, I would not split the cost with this idiot. No. No. It was annoying to begin with. I'm even more annoyed. Well, even saying saying your windshield is is indestructible, quote unquote, I still don't think you're not expecting a windshield to have 240 pounds on top of it, right? Right, 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 right. That's kind of unrealistic. Right. When would that happen? Correct. In, in any circumstance. Right. They, yeah, they don't make an unbreakable windshield. Right. That seems... Even, even tempered's going to go. Right. I would think... And it's testing my temper. Oh. Like... <laughs> It's more so like a rock getting thrown at it, right? Is that isn't that what you would think about when you think Look, about a quote this, unquote unbreakable windshield? This video is look at me, not my right windshield. Yeah, yeah. I wish he would have fell through and and hit an artery, and he would have bled out. That's how annoyed I am with mm-hmm. him. How do they handle in snow? Well, I've seen some video of them getting stuck in mud. In mud and sand, I've and, seen. And, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not very, you know, not much incline. So, I, but I, I haven't seen snow. I don't know. I mean, I, I the insides are pretty cool. I mean, they are, you know, they are what they are. They're they're different, so it's it's cool. But, uh, boy, I I cannot I cannot get past that shape. It, it's the dumbest looking thing I've ever seen. I don't know. It's a it's so polarizing. It is. And I think that's what people like. It's about either it. the, the the future or the dumbest idiotic thing you've ever seen in your life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have you? What about the Rivians? Do you like those? Yeah, those are all right. Those are all right. I know people are having problems with those too. Yeah, my brother has one. A lot of software. Of course he does. He probably invented it. Oh wow. <laughs> well, he's, your brother's a genius. <laughs> I'm not being a smartass. Your brother's a genius. Yes. Didn't he invent, like, whatever, the Rubik's Cube or something? <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know, I saw her brother. What's his name? Anson. Anson. Of course his name's Anson. It's the smartest sounding name on earth. <laughs> and I met him outside the fleet farm, farm fleet up at DeForest. And I talked to him for like 10 seconds. We didn't know who each other was. Yeah. And he goes, you want to go out to my Rivian and do some math? And I'm like, well, that's the weirdest thing anybody's ever said to me. <laughs> it's, not, it's not how the conversation went. <laughs> uh, uh, but he loves his. Rivian. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I see him out in the wild every once in a while. I think those are cooler looking than. Uh, but the Cybertruck, I feel like. It's just. I feel like the Cybertruck is more, there's a statement being made with the Cybertruck. Correct. It's not about performance, and it's not about right. whether I can, you know, rock crawl. Right. It's about having one, because they're expensive and you don't see many of them. Right. And that's fine. Uh, the back end does slide open. You can get, I don't know if you can get a piece of plywood in there, but it's got some room in the back. The inside's pretty cool. I'm not going to mm-hmm. lie. Inside's pretty cool. But would I rather have uh, 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 an Escalade? Yes. A new Escalade, yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know when I was when I was eight. Maybe I'd like the wedge. Mm-hmm. No, it's just everybody's everybody's got different feelings about it. I don't think I don't like the looks of the uh, Tesla. I don't know which one I'm thinking of. Is it the Y? It looks like a brontosaurus head. I just can't get over it. I don't know. Oh, it kind of does look like a brontosaurus head. Doesn't it? Once you see it, you can't weird. unsee it. Is it is that weird? That is weird. I've never noticed that. <laughs> Whoa. I always thought brontosauruses were kind of cute. All right, so so the truck is is built to last. I know you have to have a special cleaning uh, solution uh, to wipe fingerprints off your Cybertruck. Okay. So you got that going in. 
And maybe the truck is indestructible, but uh, the uh, the flex, the weird flex of standing on your windshield, is is strangest thing I've ever seen in my life. Dumbing down your smartphone, one podcast at a time. Listen, rate, and subscribe to the JJO Morning Show Podcast. Workman's relief for whatever the job throws at you, like THC products derived from legal hemp. These are legit delicious. Free shipping with products over $75. Order yours at workmansrelief.com for whatever the job throws at you. Get up with Johnny and D. JJO. Uh, how are you with heights? Oh, not my best, uh, not my best skill. Hate them. Not a height guy. Uh, like, like, uh, like, give me a scenario. Give me a situation. Like, uh, like, would you like to be like, like a base jumper or, no. okay. No, uh, man, I admire those guys in those flying squirrel suits though. I would love to do that, but I don't know if I got the cojones to pull it off. Yeah. What about, could you work? Up high, like no. Uh, we have a, uh, zero. Okay. <laughs> Even cleaning uh, cleaning leaves out of my gutter was uh, terrifying. I, I I just I can't do it. Okay, I'm in the same I'm in the same boat. Um, Jared Cooper works for a window washing company in Mobile, Alabama, called Squeegee Squad. We were in uh, Chicago, down on the river, and I was watching these guys cleaning windows on the skyscrapers down there. Yeah. And, you know, they got the <clears throat> whatever, and they lower them down. The booms come out. Mm-hmm. And I got, I didn't get sick, but I got queasy watching yeah. them. <laughs> I can't watch. Nervous for them. I can't look at it. No. I don't know what that is. I don't know I think it gets either. worse as I get older. It's really weird. 100%. Oh. Um, like, I can't even watch, <laughs> like, the carnival rides. I can't watch them. Oh, Anymore. I mean, I'll go. It's weird. I'll go on a roller coaster. Uh, or I, I obviously fly, but flying's uh, different for some reason. But uh, yeah, standing on a platform cleaning a window 120 stories up, nope, is terrifying to me. Uh, <laughs> Those guys should get a million dollars a day. 100. <laughs> percent Well, on Monday afternoon, uh, good old Jared was stuck dangling from the side of a building. <laughs> 450 feet oh, up. Whoa. Dude, no. <laughs> Dude. Oh, all the noises right out of the butt. <laughs> all those noises. His equipment malfunctioned while he was cleaning uh, the windows of Alabama's tallest building, the RSA Tower. It's 35 stories and 745 feet, including the spire. Hmm. He was just below the 33rd floor when a piece of equipment called a descender locked up, so he couldn't go up or down. Uh. He called 911, and firefighters were there within a few minutes, and then he called his mom. Because i that's who you call. You call your damn mom. PC2. Um, here's good old Jer Bear and his ma talking about the incident. 50-50 shot. Either it's going to lock or it's not. And when it locked, I was like, okay, well... Here we go. He calls me a lot from work, and he said, "Hey, mom, I'm I'm stuck here on a ledge, and I'm just hanging out here, you know, waiting until uh, to see if Will will be able to get me down." And I was like, "Oh, okay." We haven't had many problems out of our equipment. We've noticed things that we were trying to get replaced, and sure. haven't had the chance to. Jared has always been kind of a daredevil, and he always, if it's a high risk job, he's he's like, "Sign me up." Yeah, and you know, you see these. Uh... <clears throat> videos of these guys, you know, some wind, some gusts will come up and stuff and blow their little platform and they're dangling. Mm -hmm. One of the cables will snap or something and they're, <laughs> what the F? Yeah. Uh, it took the fire department about an hour, an hour to hoist him up and he's okay. He said it was just another day at work. He went back and finished the job. That's cool. Oh my God. Yeah. I, um, Alex Hanold or whatever his name that, climbed free the free climb yeah i think about watching that show and i get anxiety mm -hmm. and i even and i know he lives right and i can't hardly watch it yep <laughs> it's so bizarre it's I, I don't it's my worst uh it's my weakness heights i don't know what it is i don't know what it is but it's definitely and it got 
After I had my child, it got worse. No kidding. Because mm-hmm. you it, had your child on the roof, didn't you, at your house? <laughs> he just you were up there cleaning slid the, right out. Cleaning the gutters. And hit the cement running. <laughs> it was wild. Um, yeah, a little afterbirth sack, like, bounced him right up. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, because all your your hormones and chemicals and whatnot change. Gotcha. Um, washing windows. So yeah. dangerous. Yeah. No, I just, my, my hands are sweaty right now. I know. Now. I'm not well right now. Not only my hands sweaty, mom spaghetti. <laughs> but I, uh, I, uh, I just, I don't like thinking about it. I don't like looking at it. And, uh, and I do they make great money? I would assume that you got, you, uh, let's look. How much money? You think they'd have robots? To wash skyscraper windows, don't you? You know, something could crawl up and down. Right. Not have a human out there dangling around. Anyways. What? Let me guess. <laughs> I bet it doesn't pay based on your reaction that well. 30 bucks an hour. 20 bucks an hour. <laughs> You've no. got to be kidding me. No, that's insanity. You, that's got to be more. This can't be right. That's got. That's got to be wrong. It's got to be more. Wow, man! Even guys, no. That sucks, bro. You get me about. You get me about twenty feet off the ground. I'm about done. It's really strange. I. I I don't even know how you get down that career path. I Are mean, we babies? <laughs> well, I don't care what you think I am. I'm not climbing out on a ledge. For you can call me all the names in the book. I I'm I don't not care. doing that. I don't care. I can't do that. <laughs> I would be so scared. I no. couldn't work. Nope. Mm-mm. That's I, even like you know. I give Tom Cruise credits. <gasps> he he does a lot of his own stunts. You know, he rode that motorcycle off the cliff. He does. He did it like eight times. Too bad he didn't die. I give him. Uh, I give him credit. You think they'd have a drone or something could do that? I don't know. I guess they can't get it. Schmear proof. Who knows? Schmear. Schmear. I see a schmear, schmear. on floor thirty-five. Schmear the toast. But uh, strange stuff. No, I give him all the credit in the world. That's even like at the what is it, the Willis Tower or whatever. They have that observation deck. You can walk out uh-huh. and it's clear. I won't do that. On a glass, uh, yeah, a little platform you can crawl out on. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> There's one that has a slide. You can slide down whatever the glass plexi, whatever the hell it is, and it's on the outside of the building. You slide down a floor. Not going to do that. <laughs> no, not doing it. What about the Grand Canyon thing? Would you walk out not on gonna that? Not going to do that either. Because I think that one's broke. Uh, hang on. I think that glass broke. Or did somebody... Committed suicide, maybe. That's I don't know. Um, because, uh, no. All I can think is, like, it'll be the one time. <laughs> they're going to be like, tragic story, oh, freak accident. Right. You know? Grand Canyon Skywalk. It's a thousand, three panes of glass separate you from a thousand foot fall. And they start cracking. Which is what happened to Willis Tower visitors Wednesday. There it is. See? There's the guy at, at, in Chicago standing out over the glass ledge. What for? What's that for? I don't know. <laughs> what you, Why would you do that? Here's a cookie. Congratulations. You could have killed yourself. Yeah. Are you happy? They, uh, this is, uh, what's the date on this? Let me see here. Oh, oh my God, 2014. This is Rando Google. Mm-hmm. Which name I'm going to name my first baby? Rando, Rando Google. Rando Google. Rando Google. Visitors to Chicago's Willis Tower, which is the old uh, Sears. Sears, right? I'll never call it Willis Tower. Well, you just did. Well, it's for the sake of. You forgot what it even was, I'm, OG. Was, I'm a respectable journalist. I'll read what's in front of me. <laughs> I, I took an oath at broadcast school. The uh, second tallest building in the Western Hemisphere got quite a scare Wednesday night when the floor of the glass observation box protruding out appeared to crack. Told ya! (laughs) Could the same thing happen at the famed Grand Canyon Skywalk? Yes, Yes. but that shouldn't stop you from going out. (laughs) Here's why. Whatever. 
No one was heard in the Willis Tower incident because the cracks appeared in the floor's protective coating. <sighs> Not in the floor itself, but the protective coating. What do we always say? Don't be a pussy. You are what you eat, John. Yeah, you're relying on so many other people to have done their job correctly. Right. And I yeah. do not rely. Did I, did I use the right, was the glue out of, <laughs> yeah. uh, was there a recall on the glue? See? It didn't work. No. Shh. No. Uh, six million visitors have stepped onto the ledge since then at the Willis Tower. Nothing unusual about Wednesday night. Tourist Alejandro uh, and his four family members were standing on one of the ledges, which holds five tons. Of course, it's got to be Alejandro. When they heard an ominous noise, the floor of the ledge appeared to be cracking. They stepped off, as most people would. Despite media hype, they were never in true danger. At no time was the integrity of the structure compromised. Uh, Media hype? What do they mean? (laughs) Makes for a sexy headline, but that's not how the structure works. Surfaces non-glass protective coating occasionally cracks, which is what it's supposed to do. The protective layer did exactly what it was supposed to do. Emphasizing visitors were never thrown. Okay. Tell that to my underwear I have to throw away. Exactly. It was, it was a brand new pair. <laughs> exactly. Of, of polo underwear from Walmart. <laughs> Thank you. At worst, the cracks that showed uh, that the deck's floor made from three layers of half-inch thick glass were under unusually high stress. The threshold for cracks and protective surface far lower than that of the floor itself. Scary? Hell yes. Dangerous? Not, not at all. Nope. And then the Grand Canyon Skywalk, uh, projecting 70 feet out, engineering marvel, designed to sustain the force of an 8-0 magnitude earthquake. That's pretty good. Can support 822 people weighing 200 pounds each. But they only let 120 people out at uh, the one time. I think they ought to put 821 people out there and see if uh, yeah. they're full of crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, so same thing with the Grand Canyon Skywalk. Listen, They've got a protective. And so the Tesla Cybertruck windshield also is supposed to be a indestructible you're kidding me so is that what it says no i'm just saying oh i see see. yeah yeah windshield is supposed to be indestructible right Right. and the skywalk also indestructible all i'm saying is this the windshield buckled under 240 pounds of pressure uh i i did read that the skywalk in vegas uh they just nickel and dime your ass to death out there uh before you actually get out on the skywalk oh for the Grand Canyon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you have to... I haven't done it. You have to leave. So you get out there. You have to leave all of your stuff in a locker. And then... You got to pay for the locker? You have to pay for the locker. Oh, yeah. You have to pay for the bus ride. Oh, you got to wear footies. I think so, yeah. yeah. You have to pay for the bus ride out to the rim. And then you have to pay to get out to the skywalk. You have to pay for pictures on the skywalk. Because you have none of your property with you. So that's the nickel. And Here you go. Uh, you have to get the legacy package, $43. That does not include the price of the Skywalk. That's another twenty nine ninety five mm-hmm. to go on the bridge. So you've paid. You've already paid. Then you read the small print at the bottom and you find that if you pay the whole $73 per person to go see the thing that you can't even take your camera or any personal belongings on. Uh, you can purchase a picture of you on the Skywalk at the gift shop for a, an additional price. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. No. They have a gold ticket for $86. That includes a meal voucher and the Skywalk ticket. Okay, so $86 to walk out on the Skywalk. I don't know. Is that worth it? I don't know. Boy, you got four kids. No, that's it. It's not worth it. That's when we turn around. We're like, let's go up the road to the dude ranch that we saw advertised that's, and that's get lunch. And, yeah. 160, 160 dollars for a couple. To go look at a hole. Boy, that's yeah, that's a lot of money. Yeah, boy, oh boy, that's a lot of money. I don't know. Is that worth it? I was trying to think. We paid. Uh, I was trying to think. We we went up in the NBC Tower in New York when we went uh, on the rooftop. What do they call it? the the NBC building? 
the observation. Yeah, day, yeah, whatever yeah. It's been. That was seventy-five a person. But I got to tell you, I I do that again. Yeah, those views are incredible. You could see, I swear to God, you could see Europe. You're That's literally beautiful. on one. You're literally on one of the top three tallest buildings in New York. It was incredible. That'd be pretty cool. I've never been at the Empire, but that's pretty badass. You walk around. I mean, the pictures, just some of the best pictures we've got on our wall from were up on the up on the uh, NBC deck. And the elevator, when you get in it, it looks like you're in a Star Wars movie. They've got lasers and lights going in the elevator all the way up. It's a high-speed elevator. If you're queasy, don't do it. Yeah. And once you get up there, don't get near the edge. You'll get double queasy. Oh, man. All right, well, this has been you're a good meeting. You're just up there standing looking for airplanes going, all right, is everybody in there? Uh, <laughs> everybody in the right uh, lane? Everybody up at the altitude is supposed to be at? Okay, here we go. Take a picture. Hurry up. <laughs> Replay today, the JJO Morning Show Podcast. Get up with Johnny and D. JJO. So that commercial we played with the auctioneer got me thinking. Uh-oh. I know, because I was like, isn't there a shortage of auctioneers? And there is. Um, uh, one of the most pressing issues facing the action industry is the shortage of qualified actioneers. As older generations of actioneers retire, there is a notable lack of new talent Uh-oh. entering the profession to fill the void. So what do you have to do to be an actioneer while well, you have to get certified? So here I'm looking at, well, how do you get certified? You can take an online class. I found one that you can take. It's a mix of online live sessions via Zoom, and then there's on-demand lessons, and it's like a grand. What is it? It's like eighteen hundred bucks. Mm. Um, but it's like in January next year, so it's not like a. <clears throat> I, I didn't find a whole lot of options around here. This is the only one I found. There's like a Missouri auction school. Of course, it's in Missouri. Where the hell else would it be? Um, the online class includes. Live chant improvement, small group video conferencing. Hmm. That is that what they call it? Chant. When sure. They do that thing. Doesn't it? Not, it seems like most people well, that would be a side gig, not a thing. Although I remember we used to go to auctions <clears throat> growing up, and uh, they would pull a trailer up, and it was like their office, and they would do the auction. They put they pop the window up like a food truck. Yeah. And they do they start their rant. Yeah, hey, you got a hammer 25, 25, give me 250, give me 250. They usually make 10% commission. Well, that's good. I guess. On everything that they sell, everything at the same. That's pretty good. Um, you just kind of say the same thing over and over again until somebody raises their hand. Wow, that's really. Is it that hard? I think I could do it. Well, you think you could do a lot of people's jobs, and I got news for you. <laughs> You can't. <laughs> I'm just saying, if, if the auctioneer showed up and had a heart attack, I could probably jump in the mic and do it. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Got an old tractor here. Old tractor started 300, 300, 310, 310, 315, 320, 320. And then some dude raises in. You go to 340. What's the big deal? Start high and see where it goes. Well, I would I would think it's it's probably pretty hard to be a good eng- auctioneer. Got a chair I here, mean, a pretty crappy chair. I'll take five bucks. Any five bucks? Three dot three four four three two 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 two. Go on, what three? <laughs> I just auctioned a chair off. It's not that hard. Well, no, you didn't because nobody bought it. <laughs> it's an invisible chair. <laughs> See? Uh, does anybody out there? Have Has anybody an auctioneer? Has anybody got an auctioneer in their family, or uh, and did you? Why did you not go to be an auctioneer after? Okay, so dad or something. Kind of a dying a zip recruiter says. Well, yeah, it says that we have a shortage. Interesting. Highest paid auctioneers can earn between fifty to a hundred thousand a year. That's pretty That's good. That's a pretty money. big gap there. Yeah. yeah. Um, zip recruiter says. Um, average monthly pay in the U.S., 4000 a month. Okay, let's get this more down to Wisconsin. Salary.com says average auctioneer salary in Wisconsin is about 60 Hang on. I might have an auction, uh, auctioneer on the phone. Hello? Going once. Color one. Hey. Color one. Color one. Color two. Color one. Shut up. You got to look up. 
auctioneer training videos on like YouTube. Right. Okay. And watch, watch, watch how those guys like they they start the class, they start super slow, and then they roll every single word into the next word. It's super interesting. And by the end of the class, the people are talking at like a million miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, it is an interesting field. I, it's fascinating. Yeah. Uh, what do you say, auctioneer? What school? Do like yeah, do like auctioneer school on YouTube. Okay. All right, I'm on it. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, bye. Hi, how's it going? I imagine being on a Zoom uh, class with like eight other guys all yelling at each other. <laughs> hey, buddy, hey, buddy, hey, buddy, hey, buddy. <laughs> Mike doesn't know. The Mike doesn't know which guy to pick. Yeah, get ready for lunch break. Back and forth. Get lunch break. Where we gotta go? Panera, Panera, go once. McDonald's, McDonald's, go once. One, it's one, it's one, one, it's one. All right, let me see. Let me see what I got here. The fascinating world of. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Auction Syndicate. Auction yeah. Syndicate is a YouTube channel where you and I sit down and we practice a different filler word. We break down our chant. Yeah, we practice words. our bid calling yeah. each and every week. Got and it. today is practice session number one. Welcome to Auction Syndicate. Today's filler word is going to be would you give. One, would you give two, would you give three, would you give four, would you give five, would you give six, would you give seven. Right, work on that. Try that once. Me? Yes, you. I'm pointing at you. <laughs> So, all right, hold on. Let me hear him again. Oh, my auctioneer just panicked. Let's get ready. Let's do some practice. Right, practice session hey. number one. Welcome to Auction Syndicate. Today's filler word is going to be would you give. One, would you give two, would you give three, would you give four. One, would you give it four. Oh, I can't do it. One, would you give two, would you give three, would you give four. Yeah, you got to do that. Okay, I like that. Okay, let's go to the next lesson. All right, you passed that. That's pretty good. You do it. You do it. Get comfortable. Would you give? 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 Numbers in there. Uh, would you give five? Would you give six? Would you give? What did you give? Would you give? Would you give? Would you give six? One dollar bid, two. Would you yep, give yep. three? All right. All right. One dollar bid, two. All right, so we got an A plus on the first okay. lesson. No, I don't know. Get about you that. a bottle of water because we're gonna want to set our. Give. Would you give? Would you give? Would you give? All right, now let's run through the one to ten number scale. There you go. With would you give in between each of our numbers? Okay. One. Would you give two? Would you give three? Would you give four? Would you give one? Would you give two? But, would you give three? But don't you have to get a bid in between there? Would you give five? Would you give six? Would you give seven? Would you give eight? Well, I think those are dollar amounts, right? Yeah, would but you, you got to get would a... Would you give ten? Let's do it again. One, would you give two? Would you give three? Eight, would you give nine? Would you give ten? You want to sell from your gut. You want to sit up straight in your chair. Good oh, posture. Oh. Breathe in. Sell from that gut. Let's do it one more time. With some good speed. One, would you give two, would you give three, would you give four, would you give five, would you give six, would you give seven, would you give eight, would you give nine, would you give ten. Excellent job. Thank you. Now we're going to double punch our numbers. One, one, would you give two, two? We're going to go one to ten. Oh, no, no, oh, no, he's doubling the numbers now. One, one, would you give two, two, would you give three, three, would you give four, four, would you give five, five, would you give six, six, would you give seven, seven. It actually gets easier if you do it twice. Nine, would you give ten, ten. Let's do it again. One, one, would you give two? One, one, would you give two, two, would you give three, three, yeah, we got would you give ten, ten, ten? Felt a lot better. Now let's do it one more time. Now we got Nine, it. would you give ten? Excellent. We're going to speed it up just a little bit. I'm bid one, would you give two? I'm bid two, would you give three? I'm bid three, would you give four? I'm bid four, would you give five? I'm bid five. So he's would building you your vocabulary yeah. up. Would you give six? I'm bid six, would you give seven? I'm bid seven, would you give eight? I'm bid eight, would you give nine? I'm bid nine, would you give ten? Excellent job. Let's speed it up just a little bit more. Two. So I'm I bid one. Would you give two? Two. I'm bid two. Would you give three? Three. I'm. Bid I'm. I have another script too, and it's the filler words. So this one has one dollar bid. Now two. Now two. Will you give me two? Boom. So yeah, it's just it's the Man. the filler words is the. If we would have been a little more motivated during COVID, we'd all be auctioneers making mad, hell yeah mad money. All right, this is cool. I bid one, would you give two, two? I'm... This is, we're going to call this the freestyle session. Oh, yeah. What you're going to do, if you've never conducted a live oh, auction Oh, man, before, listen to this. This is your first auction. It's going to happen right here. All right, hang on. You're going to sell the next three items. These two people on my screen, they're going to be here for you to announce the bidder number that shows up on the screen. So this is going to be the freestyle jam session. I want you to use freestyle whatever chance. If you just want to count numbers <laughs> by all of auction, go ahead with lot number one. What do you do? You're supposed to do it. You're supposed to do the bid. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Look at the sign. Would you give five? Would you give five? Bid. Would you give? Would you give two? Would you give one? Would you give three? Would you give four? Okay. Yeah. I just sold a desk. Bidder number five three seven. Lot number two is going to be a coffee. 
Oh, okay. For uh, so it's interactive. They hold the item up and then you, That's ha- pretty cool. you have to do it. Um, well, some bitch, I'm going to be auctioneer by the end of the day. <laughs> Hot damn. I'm going to be out in Sturge's yeah. auction stuff off from the full throttle. They ain't going to know it. <laughs> oh, no. She just auctioned the bar off. There goes the stage. Who just bought the stage? <laughs> Uh, uh, that would seem like something you you get in a cadence that you yeah. could pick up pretty quick. You if, get if, your own style. Yeah, get your own style. Throw in your own I little like that. weird words. That's and then, so cool. And then your voice and your pace all comes yeah. into. Uh, that's pretty entertaining. So I, auctioneers around here get twenty percent. That's pretty good. Yeah, isn't it? I would think. Yeah. Well, and if there's a shortage, you can kind of you can kind of charge what you want. Uh huh. That's pretty cool. I mean, you can almost learn that at home. I mean, if uh, if you can talk fast anyways, that's pretty good. That wouldn't take too much, would it? I suppose you'd be nervous at a couple of them. You start small, sell some crap to your friends out in the garage or something, have a little, uh, have a little yeah. auction, sell some baseball cards or something. Do you bid three? Do you bid four? All right. And then and then and people are not becoming into the, into the profession because of why it's nerdy or something or what? I don't know. They didn't give a reason? I guess they just, right. Yeah, I mean, I guess people just haven't. What would stop you from going into, say, uh, we get fired, which is going to happen soon. I just have a gut feeling. Yeah. What would stop you from becoming an auctioneer? Nothing. That's why I'm looking at it. The... <laughs> <laughs> She's already secretly put in her two-week notice. She's out of here, man. She's going to double her money. It's incredible. <laughs> So, uh, so there's probably a small pool of auctioneers to choose from at this point. Yeah, and the ones that are out there are probably in pretty high demand. And maybe, who knows? Maybe auctions are auctions going away. I don't. Maybe, think, maybe that's part of the problem. I don't know that they will go away. You're still going to have estate sales. Yeah, lots of farm sales, estate sales. Yeah. You're still going to have. Are you still going to have like large animal sales and stuff? <laughs> maybe. Uh, and they talk fast because of uh, this is a stupid question. To get through the sales, there's so many items. Um, are they trying to? They're trying to hype the item. I think because so. there is some energy there, so you feel like, oh my god, I, it does create demand, doesn't it? When they talk like that, I've never Keep got the into the action moving efficiently and to okay. grab and hold the audience's attention. There you go. So there, the chain in... can also create excitement and bidding anxiety. It, there it is. So the part entertainer. Part salesman, part yeah, uh, auctioneer. What if I became a topless auctioneer? <laughs> a topless auctioneer. Yeah. Man, you could just stand there and go, give me 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> the guy will give you a $20 tip. I just made 40 bucks. This is unbelievable. <laughs> you wouldn't even have to do the auction. <laughs> just stand there. People just come up, man. It's fifty dollars, and thank you. Oh, can no. I? And I'll I'll take that screwdriver. <laughs> That's outstanding. The JJO Morning Show podcast with Johnny and D. Listen, rate, subscribe. Catch a new show every Monday through Friday, six till ten a.m. on ninety four one JJO, or streaming anywhere in the JJO app. Johnny and D. Nowhere but JJO.